so many people I've been talking to are busy with their holiday baking. It's one of my favorite times of the year just because I love to bake. I have great memories of baking with my mom and my grandma and now I like to bake with my grandchildren. So I have all of my recipes that I use at Christmas time in a notebook and they're recipes that I only make this time of year so they're really, really special and everyone looks forward to them. And one of the things that I love to make because it's so easy and it's such a great little gift is my ginger shortbread. And so I'm going to kind of walk you through it really, really quick and then just share some tips and techniques for this special recipe. So this is a ginger shortbread. So as you know, shortbread is full of butter. It's really rich and buttery. And this one is also full of ginger. So I've already mixed up two cups of flour, a cup of dark brown sugar, two tablespoons of ground ginger. That's a lot, I know, but you need it for this recipe. A teaspoon of baking soda and a little pinch of salt. I put that in my bowl and just kind of tossed it together with a spoon. And then I put in one cup of butter that was softened. I cut it up into pieces. And rather than use a mixer, just use your pastry cutter or two knives that you use to cut up or cut the flour and the butter together. And once that's mixed up really well, then I added two tablespoons of crystallized ginger that I chopped up really, really fine. And in case you haven't used crystallized ginger before, it's just fresh ginger that's been chopped or sliced and then it's put into a water and sugar solution and boiled until it's really tender. And then it's scooped out and it's drained and it it's just allowed to dry and so then you can see the crystallized sugar on the outside so it's it's spicy when you bite into it and it's sweet at the same time and so this makes this shortbread kind of like a double whammy with ginger so have your dough mixed up and then I've lined my nine inch baking pans. This makes two pans like this, two nine inch pans. Line it with some parchment paper so that it's easy to pull your baked shortbread right out of the pan. And then I'm just going to put my mixture right in and just pat it into a nice even layer in the pan. Put it into a 325 degree oven for about 40 minutes until it starts to brown around the edges and then take it out. Let it cool for five minutes, and then you just take the edges of the parchment paper, pull it right out of the pan onto a cutting surface. Because while the gingerbread is warm, you'll cut it into these dainty little triangles. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.